So we sign materials, materials to things inside the Bifrost graph in a slightly different way to normal. Um, and this is because, as I was saying in one of the first videos, that this is external to uh, Maya. So you've got to sort of um, bring things into this world that Bifrost understands. So um, how you do it, it's not very difficult, but you just go tab, we want to do an assign material and we get one of these. So it's got an input for a geometry and then it's got an input for all these different types of materials. So I'm just going to go input that to there and then take that that's fine. But I need to put a material in here and I want to put a volume material because it's a smoke. So go to the hype shade and go to shaders and we want a it's a very bottom one AI standard volume like that and I'm just going to call this smoke and then what we do is then we middle mouse drag it into here and we plug it into volume material so now when we play we get nothing which is a bit disconcerting when you first done it so I mean if I bypass this um, I want it to read and write cash oh I'm in write mode oops um, let's just jump to a frame where it's yeah so back to read mode There's still some cash for that one go to that go there disappears um, and that is because um, in here by default it's got these channels and these are the channels that you're asking the shader to look at to create this smoke shader and they're the channels that are coming out of uh, actually I won't show me just do that to write so as I said because I've turned that to read it ignores everything upstream so it won't put a watch point there's nothing there to it's not going to calculate it so I just have to put that to write mode and then it should if I rewind it do that so um, Density, it's got density written in the hair, but actually it's called voxel fog density in here. Um, the same with temperature, it's also a uh, voxel temperature here. So we have to replace the temperature and density with voxel fog density and voxel temperature. Temperature is not massively important in relation to smoke, but uh, we'll put it there just to sort of show the workflow. So. Um, let's write that now. Voxel. Oops, not cap, not caps. Voxel. Fog. Density. All lowercase, and you have to have the uh, what are they called underscores as well. And then you want, and as you can see, look, it's already popped back there um, in a weird way. So we sort that. Voxel. Temperature. temperature. There we go. Um, so let's just see what happens when we get play now. So we are, let's move this over. We've got smoke, but it's bright white. And I think that is because, um, hang on. Outline, outliner, I just want to display everything. So I'm going to turn on DAG objects only, and I want to find my 
AI standard volume smoke. Uh, right, there we go. So I think probably it's to do with that. So the emission color was set to white by default. Um, so we brought that back down. So you sort of just leave that as black. There is no real temperature in this because it's um, it's all even over it. So we can sort of leave that. We're interested in fog density, so we can crank it up, make it less and more. Um, and this scatter weight and the transparency. And these are the three that we want to play around with for smoke. Um, so that's that for setting up. Let me get rid of this and just have a quick check of what we did. So uh, let me get rid of that. So if you're a bit unsure about this, um, it caught me out when I first started sort of using this, um, is what you can do, if I save this scene, it will save scene, go to uh, Windows, the browser, and if we go to smoke, um, say that one, say open example scene, right that, uh, close that. Um, this has already got a material assigned to it here, so this AI standard one. Um, if I go to the outliner, uh, smoke pin volume, is that what it's called? No, that's the name of the biff. Um, let's just do this and then find it. So, boom, boom, boom. There we go, AI standard volume one. So this has been set up for the smoke on this and you can see from the browser, that's not the browser. It's quite a nice sort of white smoke. Um, so uh, we can go with this volume. See, they've got the density in there. They've also put it in a mission a little bit as well. Um, we go presets, save. And we can call that uh, billowy smoke. And then save that. Uh, and while we're here, I'm just going to go and do a. Let's open up this one and save. Same again, find the the uh, flame torch material this one's called and we can save this as a preset <clears throat> so we've saved that and that's all set up there now to do fire so it's been a nice good start for a fire shader close that and go back to our original scene uh, which I think I call Collider. Good save. Find my standard smoke presets. Uh, what was it called? Billowy smoke, and just do replace. And then we've got the same. So we've got a good start by using that. Um, so that's applying materials. <clears throat>